This nuclear power plant is situated on the island of Olkiluoto off the southwest coast of Finland. The new reactor building towers almost 70 meters into the sky. Made of steel and concrete, the walls are up to five meters thick. Reactor Olkiluoto 3, known as OL3 for short, will generate around 1,600 megawatts of energy. That matches the combined output of the plant's two existing reactor blocks, which were built back in the 1980s. Keita Sarparanta and her colleagues from the company TVO visit the building site every day. She says the new reactor is not only the biggest plant in the world, but also the safest. It has double walls that are thick enough to withstand a plane crash and reserve water tanks inside the building for emergency cooling needs. A collection basin beneath the reactor would lock in radioactive material in the event of a meltdown. But after the catastrophe in Japan, people here are thinking even more about safety. It is very important that we ourselves also um, analyze what uh, has happened when we get the detailed information and compare it with our situation here uh, and once again go through the safety systems to check if something still has to be improved. Almost 20 kilometers away is the little town of Rauma, home to some 40,000 people. Jana Rantanen, the editor-in-chief of a local newspaper, has regular contact with a lot of people in Rauma. He says traditionally relaxed attitudes to the power plant are changing. Until last week, people of Rauma were quite confident in, in nuclear power, uh, nuclear power, at least here, Teollisuuden Voima. But, but now it's, uh, it's different. Uh, we are worried. And, uh, of course, me personally, I'm very worried and uh, concerned about Japan. This centrally located cafe is a favorite meeting place in the town. Over the past days, nuclear power has been a popular topic. Opinion appears to be divided. Maybe later when technologically it's improved so nuclear can be removed from the earth, but now it's the best item, so. I'm a little bit terrified because we have some it near there, and if it, it, the same thing happens here, I think we are in grave danger, and I'm terrified. Icebreakers and fishing boats are anchored in Rauma's snowy harbor. They fish along the coastline of the Baltic Sea, not far from the nuclear power station. The nuclear plant is certainly not 100% safe. But it is a means of generating enough power. Building the new reactor won't only generate power, but also jobs and additional tax revenue for the region. The plant operators are investing a total of 5 billion euros in the project. The technology to build it is largely being provided by Siemens and French manufacturer Areva. In the visitor center, we meet a family from the German city of Frankfurt. The son works on the construction site. His father says he has mixed feelings about nuclear power stations. Well, this level of technology is certainly impressive. But then, of course, there are the security worries. We live near Frankfurt. Some 30 kilometers as the crow flies from the Biblis nuclear power plant. It makes you stop and think. The new reactor is due to go online in two years, and a fourth block is already being planned as is a final storage site where radioactive waste will be kept for thousands of years. It's located in the middle of a forest.